Tombstone, Arizona Territory, August 12, 1881. Tombstone, 20-minute layover. I'm not paying forward, but I'd be pleased to help you with your luggage. Oh, thank you, but I'm expecting my husband to meet me. Town, isn't it? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Captain. Here's oh, your case. Thank you. Enoch, what happened? Somebody tried to rob me. You're hurt. Oh, it's nothing, Amy. Oh, come on inside, Enoch. We'll get a doctor. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened, in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. Tombstone was only mildly disturbed when an unidentified stranger attempted to rob the Mayfair store. In the West's fastest-growing boom town, incidents of this kind were so common they attracted little notice. Oh, Clay. Anything interesting over at Benson? No, I delivered my prisoner. How's it been around here? Oh, real quiet day. Well, I heard there was some shooting. Oh, somebody tried to rob Enoch Ward's store this morning. Ward put the run on him. Nobody gets killed, so it's a quiet day. Well, it was loud for a while. Ward was in here raising cane about lawlessness, and why didn't you do something about it? Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar. There was also an army officer here looking for you. Had a dispatch case to deliver to another officer from Fort Huachuca. Where is he now? Yeah, he said something about going down to the barber shop for a bath. Hmm. Incidentally, I put the dispatch case in your safe. Well, how'd you get it open? Never reveal professional secrets. Just in case you don't remember, you gave me the combination to use in case of emergency, remember? Nobody else finds out about this, will you? It was sent to you. And Harris said it was a quiet day. Mr. Hollister? Lieutenant Lowry, Fort Huachuca. I'm going to meet a Captain Emerson here. Oh, yes, I got the message from the fort. I'm afraid I'm a little late. My horse went lame. Has the captain arrived yet? Mm, about an hour ago on the stage. A dispatch case? It's in my safe. May I see the dispatch case? Well, certainly. May I see your orders and identification? Of course. Thank you. Certainly not. Here you are. Well, this key doesn't fit. 
This is a different case. Try it again. Uh, Mr. Hollister, do you have something I can use to open this with? Oh, sure. Very efficient. It's newspaper. Mr. Hollister, I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Would you try to find Captain Emerson? I'll stay here with this until you get back. All right. See what's in the case, don't you, Captain? It looks like old newspaper to me, Lieutenant. Does the Captain know what was in it originally? I merely had my orders to deliver the case, Lieutenant, exactly as you had your orders to receive the case. You'll pardon me, sir. It seems strange they didn't let you know you were carrying $30,000. $30,000? Consigned to the paymaster at Fort Huachuca. I had no knowledge of this, Lieutenant. Are you sure, sir? You doubt my word, Lieutenant? How many other people were on that stage beside you? Two. Do you know who they were? And Mrs. Ward and uh, a man named uh, Cahoon. Cahoon? The name means something to you, Lieutenant? I've seen him around Tucson. A gambler, kind of a ladies' man. Could he have known about that shipment, Clay? Well, it's possible. Seems like everybody knew about this but me. Does the captain mind repeating exactly what happened on the stage? We got into Tombstone, and there was shooting on the street. Mr. Cahoon got up to sea, stumbled and uh, fell into me, then got out and ran across the street. Then I followed him to the sheriff's office to meet you, Lieutenant. And you were late. Well, that's right. I was here. I put the dispatch case in the safe myself. Well, surely you gentlemen don't think I stole the money. Sir, $30,000 is an awful lot of money, especially for a man who's over age and grade and planning on retirement. It's true, Lieutenant. I was thinking of retirement after this tour of duty. I was planning on getting a ranch of my own. I request that you hold the captain in custody, Mr. Hollister, until I can get further orders from the fort. Sorry, sir. You realize, of course, Sheriff, that you have no jurisdiction over Army personnel. However, in the interest of seeing this matter cleared up, I intend to cooperate fully. Thank you, sir. He's going to spend a lot more time in the Army without pay. So listen, I'll be back. Why don't you hang around? Yeah, nothing else to do. If I'm not here when you return, I'll be in my office, mm -hmm. along with the combination to your safe. just came in to telegraph the fort. Well, I put him in jail. He didn't do it. And just how do you know that he didn't do it? Mm, woman's intuition. I wish you'd use a little more of that woman's intuition and tell me who did. I'm thinking on it. Ellen, what do you know about Amy Ward? She likes good clothes. She'd like to be the queen bee of the town, except they can't afford it. Her husband's older than she is, and he's jealous, if that's of any interest to you. What else would you like to know? Well, that'll do for now. When you finish it, let me know how it comes out. I already know. I read the last chapter first. Huh? 
How'd it go? Ace. Yeah. So you drove that stage in from Tucson this morning, didn't you? That's right. Well, you know Amy Ward? Yeah, she's a nice looking woman. She rode in with me today. Well, how much baggage did she have? Now, that's funny that you'd mention that. I thought it was kind of peculiar at the time. Uh, making that trip there and back with just a hat box. Don't seem to make sense, does it? Well, I guess it depends on why she made the trip. Well, now, Clay, you've rode those coaches. And you know that people don't ride them just for the pleasure. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Ace. Mr. Ward? Afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Hollister. Something in uh, crepe de chine? Oh, not, not today, thank you, Ms. Warren. Well, maybe you're in the wrong department. Yes, yeah, could be that. Well, if you will tell me what you want, I'll be very happy to help you. You were on that Tucson stage this morning. Amy, time to close up. I understand you had a little bit of trouble. You're a little late with your investigation, aren't you, Sheriff? Yes, ma'am. Then why don't you go out and catch the one who did it and stop bothering us? That wasn't what Mr. Hollister wanted, Enoch. Well, what does he want, then? I'm not really sure. You wanted to know whether I was on the Tucson stage this morning? I was. What is all this nonsense? Please, Enoch, if we can be of any help. Would you mind telling me why you went to Tucson? To do some shopping. I, uh, I bought a hat. How many other people were on the stage? Oh, come along, Amy. Uh, just a moment, Enoch. There were two other passengers besides myself. A uh, Mr. Cahoon and a cavalry captain. And nobody else got on or off? No. Was the captain carrying a dispatch case? I uh, didn't notice. Look here, why are you bothering my wife with all these questions? Because $30,000 was lifted from that stage. Army payroll. How terrible. Yes, Captain thought so. What has all this got to do with Mrs. Ward? She was on the stage. I think you'd better leave, Hollister. If you have no specific charge to bring against my wife, get out. Mr. Ward, there's no reason getting yourself all upset. Or do you have a reason? If you think I'm going to stand idly by while you accuse my wife of thievery... I'm not accusing anybody. Incidentally, I'd be, uh, I'd be careful of that. It'd be dangerous if you don't know how to use it. It might surprise you to know that I'm considered an expert marksman. Mm. Well, no, that doesn't surprise me at all. Man might have to shoot real good. Miss a big close-up target five times. That man that tried to rob your store? <laughs> Like that one, Mr. Hollister? <laughs> oh, well, no, thank you, ma'am. But I was thinking of buying a hat for a friend of mine, birthday present. Well, what type of hat did you want? Oh, well, I, I don't know. I never bought a hat before. But uh, I always have admired Mrs. Amy Ward's taste. What kind of hat would she buy? Just a minute. Mrs. Ward bought this exact hat just two days ago. Isn't it stunning? Well, ma'am, personally, if I were a woman, I'd be afraid to wear this hat. Yes, some bird hunter might try to shoot me on the rise. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I, uh, I think I'd better get her handkerchief instead. Uh, but thank you for your help. Sheriff Hollister paid a visit to King Cahoon, ill-tempered gambler gunman. Cahoon? You seem to have the advantage, you... Know my name. I don't know yours, and you're standing behind me. I haven't got a gun on you, if that's what you mean, and the name's Clay Hollister. What do you want? I'd like to have a little talk with you. What about? I'd just like to say hello to Tombstone's new citizen. I've got no business with you, Sheriff. Mr. Cahoon. You can make it hard on both of us, or you can make it easy on yourself. Leave me alone, Sheriff. I don't like lawmen, and I don't like being pushed around. You haven't been pushed around yet. 
But you keep working at it, and you'll make it. I've done nothing. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Is that why you got kicked out of Tucson? I said you could make it easy on yourself. I like it the hard way. All right. That's just the way you'll get it. Well, here it is. Now, would you mind telling me why you wanted it? Just a matter of curiosity. Mrs. Ward was carrying anything like this one. It might have been a different color, but they're all the same. And the dispatch case you were carrying, are you sure it was this size? I couldn't tell them apart, could I? Now you know why I wanted the hat box. Captain, you can go back to your cell. I've got an idea you won't be there too long. August 12, 1881. Tombstone heard gunfire for the second time that day. Was Lieutenant Lowry hurt badly? No, no, the doctor says he'll be up in around three, four days. I don't think that shot was intended for Lowry. You've been reading my mind. You got any idea who's trying to kill you? Yeah, yeah, several. You want to give me some names, I can get, start setting the type. Well, that's what I wanted to see you about. I'd. Uh... I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't print anything for a day or two. Any way you want it, Clay. Thanks. Getting awfully late. This won't take very long. Well, if you've come to talk to my husband, Mr. Hollister, he's not at home. He's in Benson on a business matter. No, I don't want to talk to Mr. Ward. I want to talk to you. Thank you. You're leaving town. A visit to my sister in St. Louis. Oh, isn't Mr. Ward going with you? Well, he might join me later if we sell the store. Yes, I'd heard that business wasn't too good. I'm sure you didn't come here to talk about that. Well, there might be some connection. I uh, suppose it's about the money that was stolen from the stage. Yes, partly. Well, I should think you'd leave that matter to the military authorities. It's gone beyond that now. See, somebody tried to kill me a little while ago. How awful. Yes. And you think there's some connection between the two? There could be. That's rather far-fetched, isn't it? After all, a man in your position must have enemies. I can think of several. Seems that I might have made a new one. One more shouldn't matter. Now, are you quite through talking, Mr. Hollister? I haven't had a chance to get started yet. Seems to me if you'd spend more time running down criminals instead of uh, annoying, decent citizens, that we all might benefit a little bit. Now, what about the man who tried to rob my husband? Oh, I already know who that was. 
Yes, I'm pretty sure that that was just a man who was hired to create a diversion when the stage pulled in. Have you arrested him? Not yet, but I will. Now, getting back to the robbery. I'm afraid I've told you everything I have to you say. You say you went to Tucson on a shopping trip? Uh, yes. How long were you gone? Oh, just up and back. It doesn't and take very long to look in all the shops. And you didn't know the captain or Mr. Cahoon before that? Of course not. Do you remember, Mrs. Ward, if the captain got off the stage? Uh, I'm afraid I don't. I heard the shots, I looked out and saw Enoch, and the next thing I knew, I was running. It doesn't seem reasonable that a passerby just happened to steal a captain's dispatch case. Well, wouldn't that mean that the captain was the logical suspect? He is. He's in jail. Well, then I would think you would consider the case closed. I would. Except I just don't think he did it. You see, there's one thing I am certain about. Captain couldn't have taken a shot at me. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. A new hat? Yes, it was the one thing I was able to buy in Tucson. In Tucson? Yes. Do you mind if I have a look at it? Of course not. Thank you. Pretty, isn't it? Yes, very. Well, are you satisfied, Mr. Hollister? Yes. You see, I know you've got that hat here in town. When you left Tucson, that case was empty. Where's the money, Mrs. Warren? Curiosity can be a dangerous thing, Mr. Hollister. Get his gun, King. I knew I should have thrown you out of town this afternoon. Over against the wall. Finished packing, Amy. I have a carriage waiting. I wouldn't want to disturb the neighbors. Amy, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Benson. I changed my mind. What's going on here, Amy? It's pretty plain, isn't it? They're running out on you. Don't listen to them, Amy. We were going to pick you up in Benson. I don't believe you, Amy. You're the one who thought up this trip. No, Enoch, no. Now I know why you spent all that time in Tucson. All right. What about it? Only this. Wait for me, King! Sheriff! I told you not to push me too far. Captain, you have yourself to thank. You see, we all believed in you. I might give my regards to Mr. and Mrs. Ward. Oh, well, I, uh, I rarely get up to Yuma Prison on visiting days. I guess I can hardly blame the Army for not telling me about the money. I'm afraid they've always thought of me as a book officer. They weren't sure how I'd stand up under fire. You stood up real good. Are you still going to resign, start that ranch? Yes, sir. Chicken. Horses. I'm going to sell them to the army. Well, Ward's had it planned very well. Yeah. Enoch starting to shoot just when that stage arrived. Mm-hmm. They would have gotten away with it, too, if Mrs. Ward hadn't have bought that hat. Well, looks like another unexciting day. Mm. Harris, will you do me a favor? Never say that again. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me. To Tombstone Territory If your past has run afoul of the law It's a handy place to be 
Cause your future's just as good as your draw In Tombstone Territory Whistle me a memory Whistle me back where I wanna be To Tombstone Territory Thank you.